Every game is uh, pretty important now with three to go. Um, looks like we'll probably have to win three, all three, uh, to make a playoff or get a home final. So, yeah, it's a huge game for us on Friday. Yeah, key games always against the uh, Titans and Lions. These two teams are rallying for those positions at the top. And with us sitting at the top there, it's, it's important that we, we play our consistent cricket that we have in this competition. It's the competition that we, we pride ourselves in. We've been playing good over the last couple of years. Um, with a couple of boys as well coming in, Villas and Bonnell, strengthening up the squad again. Oh, definitely, you know, I think the guys uh, played really, really well against the Dolphins this last weekend here at Newlands. So, uh, you know, we're on a bit of a high at the moment and we want to keep on that momentum, being top of the log. So, hopefully we can keep that up. Um, and for me to come back into a winning side, you know, it's always nice as well. So, hopefully I can come in and play my part and do something. They've got a very, very strong bowling lineup. you know, it's going to be a challenge for us, you know. But uh, I think uh, for us, you know, the most important thing, we just need to um, work on our skills and make sure that on the day that we, we've nailed our skill and we're on top of our game. And uh, I think it's going to be a good game. On Friday. Yeah, we know the Titans are a quality side. You know, they've done well in the in the Ram Slam already, and they're doing well in the four-day cricket. And I think you know they, they obviously want to do well now in this one-day cup. Um, they've got some good players, obviously, with being in the SA side. Obviously, they are quality players. We got a, a tough challenge awaits us. You know, I know that they down sort of lower um, bottom of the log, but you know the the quality that they got in their team is, is not where they belong. So it, it will be tough. But like I said, you know we. We came up with a good performance, so hopefully we can play well this game this weekend. It's hard to see how losing nine uh, protest players could not affect you, to be honest. So, absolutely it did. I, I wouldn't say we had a poor loss. You know, I was very proud of the way the guys played on Sunday, uh, specifically the young team that we put out. Uh, a, lo a lot of inexperience there, but to see how the guys uh, gave their all and, and gave their best, and we almost got over the line. So. And not too unhappy with the performance and obviously not happy with the loss. Like as I said uh, a couple of months ago that we, we always wanted to start well, you know, it's just enough unfortunate in, in the one stuff that we didn't, you know, but uh, I mean we've played well in, in, in crunch games, you know, so which is something that we, we pride ourselves in and uh, we're very confident uh, going into those kind of games. Look, I think from 2016, the start of the year, we've actually been playing some good solid cricket and I think uh, when it comes to 50 over cricket, that base starts from 40 um, and from there on you just take it forward and I think it's important that uh, for young players or anyone out there, that four-day cricket does form the base around one-day cricket and those sound basics um, you've got to achieve and got to look to execute at, at all times during a one-day game.